Today I want to teach you a real simple lesson about the markets. This lifestyle of a trader can be just wonderful, but it also has a lot of pressures. People are always asking me, Larry, how do you handle the emotional aspect of this trade? Here's the real secret behind controlling your emotions. If you're getting really emotional about your position in the market, it's not the market. Before you knew about the markets, uh, the stock market would go up or down or gold would go up or down. Did it ever bother you? No, it never bothered you. So two things are at work here. One, your ego is at risk because you think the gold's going to go higher and it doesn't and maybe you're long the market. And more importantly, if you actually have a physical position, you have money on that market to move in that way. That's why you become emotional. Not because of the markets, but because of the bet, if you will, that you have in the market. So if you're overly emotional, what does that tell me? What should it tell you? Your bet size is too big, not for your bankroll, but for your emotions. So make certain that your bet size, if you will, matches your emotions, and you'll be able to control and react as you should and when you should when it comes to short-term trading in the markets.